I got this question from one of my recent subscribers, Mohit Chaudhary, with respect to recursive functions in R. And he has copy pasted this function and he wanted me to explain this. Honestly, this is a very good question. And maybe if we take five to 10 minutes on this tutorial to explain what is going on, it's going to clear a few more concepts about the recursive function. I might have just explained the base concept of recursive function, but this could probably help you understand a little better about recursive functions. So once again, thanks Mohit. Let me just copy this code and paste it in my R studio. Okay. Now let's try to understand what's going on. There is a function A and it has got a parameter K. That is exactly what we are trying to calculate here. Let me first execute this function as it is. Let's try to understand this after we get the output. Okay, the function A has been executed. Now, if I pass a parameter as six and run this, I get the numbers one, three, six, 10, 15, 21. Now the question is, what's going on? How are these numbers getting printed? All right, now let's try to understand this step by step. So the first thing is we are trying to understand what is the value of a of six and certain things should get printed based on where it lies in the if condition or the else condition. So a of six is effectively our first function, right? Function one. And when we are executing a of six, what is it doing here? Six. If 6 greater than 0, yes, 6 is greater than 0. So let the result be assigned the value k plus a of k minus 1, which is, not, which is nothing but 6 plus a of 5. So the result here would be 6 plus a of 5. And then it has to execute the next line, print result. But there is still time to execute this because the moment we come across another function in our statements, it Python or R, it tries to execute that function first and then it goes to the, the next statement. So for now, we cannot print this result. So the next objective of R or Python or any language for that matter is to find the value of A of 5. So this was for A of 6. So now to find the value of A of 5, a of 5, this is now going to be the second function. Remember, this is a recursive function. So the same function keeps getting called again and again. So within a function, we have multiple functions because of this recursive nature. So now function 2. What is this function 2? Result equals, so we are talking about A of 5. 5 greater than 0? Yes. So result will be 5 plus A of 4. Right, so 5 plus a of 4. Now, once again, we do not know the value of a of 4. So it can't print the next statement. It tries to evaluate what is a of 4, which is now going to be our next function. So a of 4 is function 3 here. And what are we going to have here? Result is equal to 4 plus a of 3. And just like before, a of 3 is something which we have to evaluate now. So that is going to be a of 3, which is going to be our next function, which is function 4. And that is going to be result is equal to 3 plus a of 2. a of 2 again, we do not know. So we have to calculate a of 2. Or the system is going to evaluate a of 2 now, which is nothing but the next function, function 5. And what is that going to be? Result is equal to 2 plus a of 1. a of 1, once again, we do not know. So it is going to evaluate a of 1 now. a of 1, which is the next function, function 6. And what is that going to be? Result is equal to 1 plus a of 0. All right. Now, what is a of 0? 
if we again go back to this function so a of 0 if k greater than 0 that is if 0 greater than 0 0 is not greater than 0 so it will execute the else statement here and what does else do here it just assigns a value of 0 to the result and returns result so it just returns a value of 0 so effectively a of 0 has got the value as 0 all right so a of 0 which is actually our next function a of 0 function 7 it just returns 0 let me just comment this out so what is returned as 0 the value of a of 0 is returned as 0 we don't have any print statement here so it doesn't get printed it is just returning the value of result which is 0 for a of 0 now that we have the value of a of 0 as 0 what does it try to do it tries to execute all the other functions where we are having some missing values missing values in the sense some of these unsolved problems if I could call it so. So a of 0 is 0. So now what is a of 1 going to be? This is now going to be 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1. Right. So this function 6 is getting executed which is a of 1. So a of 1 is getting executed if 1 greater than 0 result is 1 plus a of 0. And then you're getting and then you're going to print the result as well right so 1 plus 0 equal to 1 and then you print the result which is nothing but 1 so that's how you're getting the first value 1 getting printed now what is happening now that we have the value of a of 1 this is solved now we have a value for this so the next function in this case which is function 5 a of 2 will be executed so 2 plus a of 1 what do we have here 2 plus a of 1 is 1 so 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and then we have the print result right so print result is nothing but the value 3 so that's how the next value 3 gets printed and now that we have the value of a of 2, the next function, a of 3, gets executed. So, the result is equal to 3 plus what is a of 2? It is 3. So, 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. And then we have the print result. So, this result, which is 6, then gets printed next. Now that we have the value of a of 3, the next function, which is a of 4, this gets executed so 4 plus what is the value of a of 3 is 6 so 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 so now print result what is the result now 10 so 10 gets printed and similarly we continue with the values here so 5 plus a of 4 is nothing but 5 plus 10 right so 5 plus 10 is equal to 50 and then we have the result printed 15 gets printed after that and then finally here the value will be 6 plus 6 plus a of 5 a of 5 is 15 so 15 which is nothing but 21 now we have 21 getting printed so this is how this recursive function works i hope i have been able to explain this question to you mohit let me know if uh, you need any further elaboration on this. But this question is really useful and it helps us in understanding a little more in depth about recursive functions. So though we are starting off with A of 6, which is what the initial requirement was, but when we are printing, it's actually printing from A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, and then finally it prints the value of a of 6. So that is how the recursive function works here. So I hope this video is useful and uh, Mohit, I hope I have been able to answer your question.
and please do keep posting such interesting questions. This really helps me create more and more videos and that probably will help you get more clarity on, on some concepts which appear simple, but when we try to go deep, it does appear complex like this one. Once again, I would like to thank Mohit for this question. If you have any doubts, questions, suggestions, feedback, please do post them in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.